promised Julie for nothing, and now she's on the hunt. So we'll have that problem solved very quickly. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here. As he struck out Kinsey to end the first, picks up a strikeout of Mediger to start the second. And now Gunnar Alfson, who was in right field, remember, just before that last half inning started, South Dakota switched the left fielder and the right fielder, Alfson and Bryant. And the ball kept finding Gunner out there in right. So it's 4 nothing. Five hits already for Ohio. Unfamiliar for South Dakota to give up anything. And now in a big hole, four zip. That the game always seems to find you. When you get a maybe a big error that happened on defense, it always seems like you're the one that's going to pick up the bat. That next half inning, it's kind of how the game works. A chance to try to get back in, help your team. The swing from number seven, Gunnar Alfson, 5'1", 198. His dad, Delvin, is one of the coaches, along with Jeff Riley. Mike Gorsett is the manager. He's one of the lucky kids who get to share this experience with his dad. So many of these kids haven't been able to touch, hold, hug their parents since this all started. Just a little high. Devin Alson right there. Tom Heidi, Caden, Jax, both brothers. They need base runners. Three balls, two strikes to Alfson. Reaches out, slaps it in the center field. There you go. Gunnar Alfson is aboard. Second hit for South Dakota. It's right here, it's right here. 